Hello, and welcome to the Elegrid tutorial. In order to get started, all you will need is an Elegrid pillbox and the Elegrid mobile app, which you can download from the Apple or Google Play Store. You will also need to turn on your phone's Bluetooth so that the app can connect to the pillbox. Program Alarm First, you will need to open the mobile app and connect to the pillbox. If the Bluetooth icon on the top right corner of the screen is white, like it is in this case, that means the app is connected to the pillbox. If you press a compartment on the pillbox illustration in the app, you will notice that the corresponding lights on the physical pillbox will illuminate. This prevents there from being any confusion as to which compartment you're wanting to program. As you can see, if I press the seventh compartment on the app, the seventh compartment on the physical pillbox will be selected. Now let's select the second compartment again and add pill information by pressing add new pill. You can proceed by typing the name of the pill, the treatment frequency, the number of times you take a dose per day, and the specific times you have to take those doses. You have the option of using a smart or normal alarm. As you can see, it'll default to a smart alarm. A normal alarm will give you a 15 minute alarm window where the pillbox will ring for the entire 15 minutes. A smart alarm gives you more flexibility because you're able to make your alarm window larger or smaller. The smart alarm will only ring on the device at the middle of the alarm window for one minute or at the end of the alarm window for two minutes if you have not taken your meds by those times. If, for example, you take your meds in the first half of the alarm window, Ellie will recognize that and no longer trigger the alarms for that alarm window. This is to prevent alarms from becoming annoying and ringing at times you do not need them to ring. You also have the option to select the number of pills you have to take at each time. For this second time, at 8 p.m., I will take two pills. Once you have finished inputting the information, proceed to open the device and pour the pills into the correct compartment. Lastly, press done and the information will be sent and stored in the pillbox. You can also set notifications for pills that are stored outside the pillbox, like liquids and inhalers, by pressing the button at the bottom of the right-hand corner of the home screen. Take pills. When it is time to take your pills, you will receive a notification on the phone and the pillbox will ring. When you open the pillbox, lights will indicate which pills to take and how many. In this case, I will take one tan pill and two red pills. Edit information. To edit alarms, you will want to press the arrow next to the specific medication you would like to edit. Here you can see all the necessary information for this medication. Now let's press the edit button. In this case, I will edit the second alarm time from 8 to 9 p.m. Lastly, press update to save the change. Next, I will show you how to delete alarm information. First, press the arrow next to the specific medication you would like to edit. Then press delete and then press delete again to confirm this action. Adjust volume. To adjust the volume of the pillbox alarm, press the settings icon at the top left corner of the screen. Then press pillbox. Towards the middle of the screen, you will see alarm volume where you can adjust the volume to your liking. Connect Bluetooth. If the app is not connected to the pillbox, the Bluetooth icon on the top right corner of the screen will appear gray. Make sure your phone's Bluetooth is turned on and that the pillbox is charged and nearby. Next, press the gray icon to take you to the Bluetooth scan. If you do not see your Elegrid initially, scroll down on the screen and your Elegrid will appear. I recommend enabling the auto connect feature so that when you open the app and are in Bluetooth range of the Elegrid, the phone will automatically connect to the pillbox. Red light. If there is a red flashing light on the pillbox, this means that the device's internal clock is incorrect. This will occur if the battery runs out completely 
or if some sort of error occurred causing the device to restart. The alarms will not go off when they are supposed to if the device is in this state. In order to correct this, all you will have to do is to connect to the app via Bluetooth. The app will automatically set the correct time to the pillbox. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.